want to try and finish it up this episode. I have news about Sebastian. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish this game. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Yeah. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. I sense he is close. Where is he? Okay. I do not know. We should look around. Hello. Sionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. Alexa, stop. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Okay.
Ah uh, yes, it all comes down to another ancient magic speed struggle. You know, you'd think that a, ref a deflected death curse would kill the user. That's just the pain curse, torture curse. It's not the worst of the curses by far. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. Is she paralyzed? But do not overdo or is it just it like a medical chair? I know, chair. Mother. I'm here. I'd love to visit. Hello? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. What on earth possessed you to do something like that? I don't know, but what other choice did I have? You were in danger. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, yep. you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today. Then I am to blame for my father's sacrifice. I love years how ago. her robes are clipping him, through the It seems there's the a lot of your father in this. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead. Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. And now my you, thumb is clipping my fellow through traveler, her hand. have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Okay. We'll do the ominous one next. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. As you should. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. 
as much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown All close. The clipping, you were helping the each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Okay. I have no clue why the mouse r r decides to not just not appear when I open the map for a little bit. It's annoying as heck. So, what clipping is going to be in the final quest of this one? And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. That saying makes absolutely no sense. It's like if you're trying to say... Oh, okay, I think I understand the saying now. It's like He's trying to say that if you have a wide knowledge, you don't have a deep knowledge. If you have a deep knowledge, you don't have a wide knowledge. It's, it's good to a very see you again, convoluted Dorian. way of saying Did it. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go okay. on. I have seen that symbol only once on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. Eh, I'll be honest, I don't... If you're right about this place, then we should make right our way there. The I shall see you there. Background stuff. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. far from it oh yes I am 
or it's just not showing up on the map. long to pop up. What are you up to now? How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are what hidden? What is going on with my cloak? Out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Okay. Actual Snidgets. I didn't get enough I'm glad time we to see what to be was going on with my cloak. It just looked like it was folding in it on itself. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Graham's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not... Do you have the Moonstone? We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? Well, it's obviously a, a safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, to the window, no better. <laughs> Place the moon stone. Place the moon stone. Akio. Here? I wonder if the pillars move at all. What do you think I'm doing, Poppy? Lumos. Okay. Accio. Let's try the other way around. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Really, Poppy? Those aren't the kind of Rebellion. Night one shows day. Wait a second. Where are the two of this key? 
Shield. Rebellion. Perhaps it has to do with the light and the darkness. Like, I get that, Poppy. But I don't really understand it. It's like, there's two of them split up. Maybe those two were already lit up, and I need to light up the others? Lights are for like night and day, so what if I just put the night looking one on the present moon and the day looking one on the sun? Perhaps it has to do with the light and the darkness. Do you have a useful hint, Poppy? What if I do... Like those two up, or... Lumos. Lumos. Okay, they're lit up, but the ones lit up. Let me also. Oh, 
that one doesn't have a dot. That one has a dot. So let's Accio. to do with the light in the darkness. I get it now. Accio. So funny. So you activate them. That did it. There we Look, go. Torn, a doorway. I suspect we all know what lies beyond that passage. And now I'm afraid. I kind of feel stupid that that took me so long. You're not coming. Of course he's not coming with us. Why would he? He's a side character. Revelio. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Nor do Look I at the mirrors to. on the wall. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camp's always It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your brand would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Should you though? I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? Leviosa! Look at this place. 
The Snidgets! No, they're Forgot how to cover your trash. What was that? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll check your pockets out. Stick to one. Bring them. Did she just kick a fruit at him? Send me out. Let me know. How dang it! You can't take him! Let me Thanks for the help. Are the two of you unharmed? I you were just had hoped standing to there return doing nothing. before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, we would have been I just fine. I here, Doran. Okay. That seems like a bug. So where are my snitchet midgets? There. There they are. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to? Well, I mean, as far as I'm aware, centaurs can't wield magic in Harry Potter, so... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you Doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind oh, and spend a little more time with the them? They're just still little puffballs. <laughs> okay. 
Seems like a weird place to meet the Professor Weasley, so... Off on another adventure, are we? I thought that was going to happen. <laughs> that is funny. All traits in the car. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, Obvious chess piece both behind inside her. and outside of Hogwarts. I believe that is the bishop. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. The How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. The I'm first third and fourth, I can understand her being impressed in by. But a goblin. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. Just takes finding there one have evidently been smudgy sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Uh, I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. Why did she flick it when I could have just set it down? Like, I get it's a world of magic, but that think, doesn't Professor? mean you I should think just be lazy. Busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs. 
Well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Okay. Did she just... that travel broadens the mind. And I've always said that you should shut That's up. A special knack! It's tormenting Professor Black! You know, the funny part is, they could have just asked me for the unicorn I kept on hand. Exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hoffman. Yeah! The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Yeah! And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits... I'd say... One hundred points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Okay, but what were the point totals? have a bit more impact if I actually do it. Okay, so I must have missed two side quests. Whatever, not a big deal. <laughs> 